I mean, it did. I forgot to launch the. Like, I was just sitting at the lobby. Alrighty. What happened? Somebody just left a bunch of shit in the tavern. Huh. Like what kind of shit? Cargo stuff. Oh really? Yeah. I don't see any skeleton ships or for it. I haven't looked that hard. No reverse marks. No one of the cannibals either. Are oh, the ships too? Wow, <laughs> the address is falling off. I didn't know that could happen. Wait, really? Yeah. The, you try to read the delivery note. It says, "Good luck." The address is falling off. Better just sail them all around the entire world then. <laughs> it seems kind of dumb. I mean, because you would literally have to stop at every single fucking island, like including random islands, not just outposts, not just depots. You'd have to stop every single place just to like try and find it.
there's not a lot of um, supplies here. Arc. Uh, there only seems to be um, planks in the front. We've had two rounds. Sorry about that. I see a that was something. Late to our, uh, 11 yeah. Ow, fuck you, skeleton bitch. That is two sloops. Supplies. Looks like crooked mast, I think. Where the fuck? Nope, that's an outpost. That's plunder outpost.
Do we want to go for outpost sloop or sailing sloop? Bananas. Oh, I got planks too. Great. This loop is not adjusting sails. Yeah. Surprise. Wait, you said you saw two sloops? Yeah, there's one behind us at Plunder Outpost. Oh. Weak. Venus ten or pirate, pirate legend figurehead. No, it's the island. There's a brig in front. We need to yeah, we need to catch the sloop. Where's the brig? Oh. Straight ahead. It sure is. Decked out in fucking bullshit pirate legend stuff. Drive ball in the front cannon. Oh, you're over there, huh? They should be looking at me. Where are you guys at? With respect? Right in front of them. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh -huh. Are we taking water? Yeah, a little bit. I wasn't too worried. I got it. I'll get the anchor up. Too dead? I'm gonna get a shot from him. Or not. There we go. Oh, come on. And these waves are gnarly. Still there, uh, robot with supplies. Okay. One will be coming back soon. I always fucking sit in it instead of fucking accessing the thing. Oh, there's barrels over there in front of the thing. You can just throw it. Yeah. 
an eye out for them. Got all their cannonballs. One's back. One's overboard. That everything? Sunk yet? Why aren't they Get ready to be. There it is. There's a skull and a chest left. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, dude, I can't do this. Barrels, real quick. Yep. Okay. Grenade pops or what? It's gonna pop right next to the barrels. At least well, I, you, I. I was gonna say you should stay on board, so if it, you know. It's right here next to me. Okay. Yeah, but. It pro they probably already respawned. Alright, well then I'll get the chest in this call. Yeah, there's nobody at the mermaid. Yeah, I drifted a little far there, Arkham. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering whether I pulled that solo sail all the way up. You did, just a little bit too late, I think. Well, um... They don't seem to be very much interested in us. They probably just spawned. What is... What's that to our right there? Yeah. Oh shit, I'm an idiot! What? Maybe the dock I saw them at wasn't an outpost, that other sloop. Really? Maybe. Who's swimming? Me, I'm trying to bring this chest over. Uh, no, somebody's getting bit by a shark. The boat... The boat is... Or the shark is biting at the back of our boat. But there's no one here, so is there someone on our ship? Oh god, he's at me now. Yep. No, I mean, I guess that was just a glitch. I don't see anyone. Still going. What'd you say, Arkham? They're selling away from this. Yeah. First of all. Oh. I'm gonna give chase, gentlemen. Okay. I'm probably gonna get eaten before I make it back with this. Oh. Oh. No, he's coming our direction, so. All decked out in legend shit. 
unable to defend their boat. Oh! I died as I was grabbing oh, the ladder. Barely. <laughs> Give my couple of to the boat, man. <laughs> Should I say regards? They had more supplies than I thought they did. Yeah, they had a decent amount. I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked, so I didn't. All look. Are we gonna crash into this fort? You want me to? I'd rather not. Now that you can, now that you can take all and drop all. Yeah. Well, I mean, when they added it, I was like, I fucking hate it. But you know, what would fix it is if they had a take all option. And there you go. That's literally all they had to add to make it the best thing ever. I must have fucked up. Lean on the on the board. Lean back. Lean back. Oh, we got the sweet spot, Mr. Rodellas. They're not adjusting sails at all. These guys are going to be super new.
controller. Yeah. Run style, please. I missed, damn it. All the way? Yeah, I was yep. gonna say, that's like, pretty... I'm trying to grab their crow's nest ladder. <laughs> I'm jumping on. You're only one of them. It looks like maybe, yeah. I'm anchoring, I'm anchoring. Anchor real quick before we get to this volcano. So nothing, no supplies? Oh, well, I don't know, we'll see. Starting supplies. Yeah. You wanna just let him die? Yep. Shot him twice. Oh, okay, I had to shoot him twice with my pistol and then hit him four times with my sword for him to die. And he wasn't moving? Yeah, he was literally just sitting still. Yep. Alrighty then. Seriously buff dude. <laughs> he was pretty beefy. Check out this island while you guys, you know, sail around looking for another target. See what's good over here. Oh, geysers. Ow. Oh, what the fuck? I watched the devs try to PvP today. Oh. It was, uh. It was something. That bad, huh? Yeah. One of those wish you were there sort of thing? Oh dear. Uh, yeah, I, well, I don't know. They were the kind of guys where if you're on their team, you want to rage quit. And if you're killing oh, them, no. and like if you're killing them, you feel bad for killing them. Honestly, I found that's pretty true across the board for game developers. You know, having been into video games pretty much all my life and watching all the gameplay demos that the devs put on or whatever, like, I've noticed, especially in PvP games, that most game developers are really fucking awful at their own game. Under understanding the game mechanics does not translate well into using the game mechanics well yeah well I mean you can you can look at the spreadsheet all you want but it's not going to translate into you know direct like skin you yeah can know yeah what to do and still not be able to do it yeah because being able to do it takes practice and honestly like I don't blame them when you've been spending you know upwards of five years or something of your life working on this game like maybe you don't want to play it that often <laughs> you're sick of looking at it yeah, exactly. 
Well, it's like one of the things, one of the reasons I never like tr even tried to get into the gaming industry was because I always heard like, well, you got to start out in testing. And every single story I ever heard about game testing was an absolute fucking nightmare. Yeah, I couldn't imagine that being out. good. Yeah, well, because I mean, for the most part, you're not playing any good games. You know, like most of the games that come out are shit. So you're just testing a game that's gonna be garbage even when it's done, and you're testing it in an unfinished phase. We uh, heading north again, uh, Mr. Adelis. You are heading straight up the edge of the map. All right, let's go. <laughs> so yeah, I guess northwest now. Um, I remember my uh, ex telling me that her mom used to be a game tester back in like the early 90s or something like that. Okay. And um, the one game that she remembers her mom testing extensively was um, Louis Henderson's Family Feud. Yeah, for, like, that. The Super Nintendo. And so it had this like, you know, 16 bit version of Louis Henderson's voice like coming over the thing, like just playing the same five questions over and over again for an entire week. The same everything the entire week and I was just like, wow, well, that sounds like the worst thing ever. Yeah. That would just make you hate video games. Uh, you'd have to you'd have to somehow manage to only test types of games you already hated. Yeah, exactly. And that's probably, they probably don't let you pick what you want to test. Oh, absolutely not, no. I mean, you you get into testing with whatever company you can, and then they, you know, put you on whatever game they're developing at the time, whatever they need you for. So yeah, it sounded like a nightmare, and I was like, mm, nah. I actually want to enjoy my time with video games instead of have being reminded of work. Alright, I'm gonna go grab a drink really quick. You guys want anything? <laughs> no, I'm good.
Alright, I guess it's time to go north. There's nobody over at Shark Bait. the first time I've ever heard a dog on either of your guys' mics. I guess Arkham has a dog. I've got a visitor. Um, can someone grab the wheel for a second? Well, it's gonna have to be Ordellis since I'm not. The wind is going pretty good. I love that when you like kill a skeleton and like bones go. Or, you know, kind of go everywhere or whatever. They, like, shrink out of existence, which is a very, like, conquer, old-school, rare kind of way to, like, get rid of something. I never paid attention enough, but that sounds funny. I, ju I just happened to notice it. Um, and I have seen it before, but I didn't really, like, you know, consciously notice it. But, like, thinking about it is, like, definitely, like, that's how they used to do it back in the day. Specifically rare to do it that way. A lot, with a lot of certain things. That's funny. Had, that was like, they had to get rid of it in the game, they didn't just make it, they had to shrink out of it. I really want people to like this game and keep on playing this game, but I gotta like, agree with Bulimix to some extent that the direction they seem to be going with it is not necessarily conducive to maintaining a player base. What What do you mean? Well, where they're leaning super hard on the PvE, really. Ah, uh, yeah. It's like, there's nothing for the PvE players to stick around other than just the nature of PvE, or PvP itself. And then, but there's everything for, you know, there's every reason for PvE players to stick around. And it's just like, yeah, PvE is cool, and I like, you know, doing missions and stuff too, but 
like PvP is a core component of the game, and the game does not work without both. Like this yeah. game would never work as a dedicated PvE or a dedicated PvP game. It's got to have a balance of both, and it seems like since the, the launch, they've been spending a lot of time putting more effort into the PvE, which, you know, to be fair, in the beginning was probably a little, you know, underbalanced. But now it's just like there's nothing but PvE, and all you run into is crews that are trying to do PvE, and they like call you an asshole for coming over and sinking them. And it's like, dude, like you should be prepared to fight for your shit. Well, you're operating on the premise that they want to keep a long-term player base. Oh, if you they definitely do. That's why they keep on producing updates, and that's, what, I mean, assuming that they're actually going to end up adding the cash shop, like, they want people who are going to be sticking around to buy stuff off of them. If you operate on the premise that they want a revolving door of new players, then it makes perfect sense. Only sorta, of, because you're not going to get new players if all the old players are telling potential new players that the game sucks. Well, that falls back into the long-term thing. They may not... They may... Like, they may have... It may be a, we've made our money back, let's milk this revolving door as long as we can mm. kind of mindset. Like, if Microsoft's calling the shots or something, like, I don't know. Like, maybe Microsoft just says, get the game passes for as long as you can get them, and then they'll pull the plug. I don't know. Because you're right, I mean, none of the mechanics they put in encourage Except persistence or long-term. That's it. Like, the, the curse balls is the only thing that would be, like, a PvP orange. I think that's one of those, like, backhanded compliment kind of things. Like, yeah, it works for PvP, but I think what it actually is, is I think it's a way to help PvE players defend themselves from better players more easily. Yeah, but they're all stupid and they don't know how to use them, so like... <laughs> yeah, if was, yeah. If that was actually the plan, then it totally backfires because all it does is make it easier for good crews to sink shitty crews. It really does, too. Like last night. And those guys were so bad! And they had to be on the server untouched for like so long to get all that stuff. Nobody challenged them at all. If anybody challenged them, anybody even like halfway decent worth, they would have sunk. Oh, it was probably the galleon mindset. People see a galleon and run. I mean, you know, most of the time. Yeah. And you don't see a lot of galleons together. So it seems like everybody kind of is in the same position we're in, where like you had a crew and then you lost one or two members and then you had to build your crew back up and then you know you lost a member again and I wish we had a solid eight total players so it's like even if all of us are on at the same time we could all like start up a galleon you know yeah Um, I'm gonna drop the anchor. Alright. Oh, I asked a couple people last night, and I, from multiple different people that are experienced, told me that the skeleton ships do have a timer. None of them knew how long it was, they just all yeah. said that they knew I had one. Give me a second. Hmm? I said I'm back. Oh. 
Guess who's back? Back again. JD's back. Hello, friend. I remember having that song on repeat when I was in fucking middle school. I was playing Win Back for the N64, and I had that song in New Disease by Spine Shank on repeat. So those are burning my brain. Anytime I hear one of those songs, I think about playing Win Back. I don't know what that is. I mean, I'm assuming it's a game, but. Yeah, it was like a. Um, I guess you'd call it a. Oh, no, the wind changed. Oh, are we. Where are we going? I was gonna try to head east, but. Oh, yeah, the wind. Huh. Um, it was like a. I guess you could call it a Metal Gear Solid wannabe almost, but it was like less over the top. Just trying okay. to be a little bit more serious about like the espionage kind of stuff. So it was like, you know, sneaking around like cover base. You know, you pop out and you have like a laser um, sight on your gun to aim. And it was like, you know, pretty clunky because it was the N64 days, but I really I mean, enjoyed it for what it, for the time because there wasn't really a whole lot like it. Not having a PlayStation, I couldn't play Metal Gear Solid. these barrels. Alright. Lots of bananas. Many, many bananas. So I did get a full load of it. Climbing. Nope. The waves are going the same direction as the wind for once. That's pretty cool. We hit it at um, Golden Sands.
I don't know. I don't even know if Shala's on the ship or not. Yeah, I am. I'm in the crow's nest. Go to the left. Yep. Oh. Crap. Ah. Everybody's doing it, man. It was tactical. I was getting us back into the wind. We have literally sailed in a circle around the map and not seen a single person. Yeah, I mean, my whole thing about sailing in a circle is that there's always that chance that they're just like yep. right behind you. So I would say if you want to know, maybe just cut straight south right now. So I like tell a little bit even. Unless you want to check the um, Devil's Roar. Yeah, I'm gonna go up and see if they're doing the Skelly ships. Okay. I mean, they're probably not, but. Last night, after you guys left, I went sailing around, looked just like sailing. And this fort right here has like an environmental blue glow just coming out of the middle of it for some reason. Which one? This one right here. Or it did last night. And and from a distance it looked just like somebody standing in it with a lantern. A bit more to your left right? Ooh. Oh shit, I got knocked off the boat. Wait, that can happen? Yeah, dude. Uh, 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 it just like put me straight through the it, like put me straight off the back of the crow's nest. Because um yeah, I hit the rock on the top side, but it went straight through the uh, the map. That's hilarious. Yeah, that is pretty funny. I yeah, look. Like, I was looking down when you were saying go left, and I was like, yeah, you need to go left. And then I looked up, and I was like, oh shit. That's funny. I've always wondered if that can happen, and I guess now we know. I'm wondering what would happen if, like, I don't know, somehow you were approaching it at a slightly different angle, and it, like, pinned you between the rock and the railing because it just pushed me straight back where there is no railing um, like if you were going slightly at an angle or something I wonder if that could happen huh I don't see anybody out there All right, Devil's Roar or South? Pretty much five. Devil's Roar is the South. Come west. I think we should switch servers. Then again, there's always a chance that it's another galleon loaded up just sitting somewhere.
we are at Galleons. I'm gonna check the roar real quick and then if we don't see anybody, then we can log, I guess. I just hate to waste all these fucking flies. That's always the way it is, man. I feel like we're going so slow. with the waves and it's big and weird. That's true, because the waves are moving. So they probably have been kicked out of the fucking car. Huh. We don't need to go any more east. Just southeast is good. After after this island, then go straight south. Oh, that one's that's the one that's erupting. on fire. It burns. Wait, wait, you're getting hurt from that far away? Mm, yeah. Huh. Yeah, that is interesting. I thought it was only in the white part of the water, but... Yeah, I did too. I was gonna say, I guess I'll die, but...
Oh shit, I thought this was the outpost. Next one down. Has anybody checked a ferry lately? No, it's just in there. Nobody. Bumming me out, man. God damn it. Yeah, just a counter telling you how many ships are on the server would be nice. Yeah. But then they would have constantly people complaining. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, because everybody would then know for a fact that there were only two boats on the server all the time. That's true. And everybody would be like, what the fuck is this? I don't know, I really hope they do something to fix it soon. Because I do firmly believe that there are enough players to support this game, I just think that they're not putting them in the right service or in service together properly. I really think that's all it is. Um, you wanna just drop off our stuff here? Yep. Oh, well, yeah, we now... We need... Well, now that the whole... Now that the whole, um drop anchor to merge thing is, is widely known, there could be a lot of people that are intentionally not dropping their anchor so that they stay, so that they stay one ship servers, you know? Ugh. Wow, that makes me angry. Well, but then they, you should theoretically be able to get merged with them. Well, maybe not. I think that all the boats have to have their anchor down? I don't know. It could be. It could be that's if that's a check. Question. If that's the case, then damn. Because you could theoretically be sailing around and have to serve forever, but maybe if nobody's got their anchor down, and there's no other server where everybody has their anchor down, if that's how it works. I would hope that it doesn't work that way, but... I mean, it could. Like, like maybe... No, uh, Maybe it... can just go directly west. Actually, never mind. Let's just sell this shit and then servers, I guess. Yeah, there's... If, if there's someone here, it's one fucking guy somewhere. I mean, yeah, maybe it's... We'll get one lone galleon full of treasure, but I doubt it. Um, I'll find a server while you're selling. Alright. That'll also make sure we don't get the same server. That's possible. It is possible. Has anyone checked the legend hideout? No. Yeah, I'm gonna go join him. him.
Oh my god. What? There are a total of six people in this entire Discord playing Sea of Thieves. Yeah, it's weird. The official one has one. Jesus. Man. I think it really might be a dead game. That would really bum me out. Me too. Know, the forum seems like it has a lot of activity, which is weird. Like the like the real forum? Yeah. Did some other game release today or anything? Like, is there something that could be pulling uh, people away? Red Dead might have come. Oh yeah, that would. Because that came out only on consoles, right? So if, like, you know, if 80% of this game is console users... Especially if 80%... No, it's not out for another few days, actually. Oh, well then. Hmm. But, um, Call of Duty did come out recently. Like a week ago. I can see that pulling all the PvP players away. Yeah, so they like playing scrub game. What are come? To the to the left. I don't think we're gonna find anybody, dude. It's t m Tuesday. I mean, look how long we had to find somebody last night. That's true. We found somebody right away <laughs> earlier. Two people. That's true. That'll be the only encounters for the whole night. I'm trying to turn us as far left as we can go to get the wind, but I had oh, to stop. There. Which direction? Southwest?
You're extra quiet today. What'd you say? Oh, I heard the skeleton ships. Okay. Into the sound. Okay. I heard him fine. Maybe something's up with my headphones. They're doing the skelly ships, or it was a skelly ship? I think it might have been, it was a skelly ship. It was just oh, sitting yeah. there, not actually moving. It's moving a little bit. One of them. Yeah. Maybe there was a brig and then it got sunk. Well, again, I only saw, I only saw three marks, uh, sorry, two marks. Um, and that was, you know, right on the edge of the site. Someone had to bring me. So definitely not a brig over there then. Perfect amount of time to adjust for one person to adjust sails and the wheel while the other two get the anchor. Oh, yeah, me too. I was hoping we we could let a brig finish the skelly ships for us. Then let's return the favor.
Imagine if you fired that foot like that kind of an arc and you hit somebody actually. That would be hilarious. That means they're gonna be doing cargo runs. <laughs> Let me get that sweet, sweet merchant rep. That shooting at us that close through a storm. Am I going the right way? Pretty much.
Into the wind, Mr. Odellus. Into the wind. Oh, I see him now. Now uh, they're on a the small island on the opposite side of that. Uh Rum runner. The sail post, whatever they call it. Merchant's post. Damn it, I really wanted merchant rep. Rum runner. So what happened? They're at the island past the sea post, not the PC post, I guess. No, uh, it, uh, yeah, it's hard to tell. Maybe they're doing both. Just uh, striving for a second there. That's weird. Anyone else hear a cannon shot? You're right, they're definitely at that island. Whatever, they could still be doing something cool. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're like defeating four fucking villainous skulls worth the skeleton. Yeah. We will find out. Well, they have their sails up, so at least they have that going for them. Yeah, they're pointing to the right. their sails up so they don't have to put down their anchor so they get server merged. Maybe. Conspiracies. I'll blank everything, not that, that means anything. We're all blank everything. We're also not the ones being rolled up on. Oh, they turn, they drop sail. They're moving. They're um, turning to point towards our left. Yep, they're running into the wind. Well, they're not really, no, they're kind of like we're on an intercept course for them right now. A little bit turn left. Left a little bit. Oh, they're coming right at us. Uh, no. A little bit more left. We want to yeah, yeah. intercept them. Okay, straight out, straight out. I made it on board. Oh, I jumped straight over. I see treasure. Killed him. Anchored him. Drop anchor. Drop ours, drop ours. Filling the skull. Scray skull. Doing, uh, yeah, Order of Souls. Prominent Order of Souls. Back sails down a little bit. Did you just hear cannon fire? I thought I heard it earlier. I swear I keep on hearing cannon fire. Oh.
Where we go, Mr. Ordelos? Um, which way is the wind? Uh, it's going uh, east southeast. Of course it is. So I guess northeast it is. Yes, we are. I'm gonna go get a drink again. Oh, yeah. sorry. Sorry, Charla. Oh, it's whatever. Here's the long shot. Do you guys ever get a bug where the water goes white? Yes. Okay, cool. Wait, are you talking about on, like, the part of the horizon? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, before, it's not doing it now, but before it was, like, blinking. It was sort of, like, going from regular to the white texture. I don't think I. All white. I don't think I saw a blinking before, but it's they're like some of it's white, yeah. But only only the south direction, like east, like southeast, south, roughly is all white. But then like north, northeast is not. I hope my video card's not dying or something. No, I mean, uh, like I said, I have the same thing. Nice flag. There's a sloop at Daggertooth. Probably got the guy just scuttled. Yeah. That's true, I guess we will. That's a bit weird. Oh, is he like coming for us? Oh no, he's just he just spawned there and he's still there. Yeah.
He's moving. There's another ship in the distance past him. I missed. Oh wait, what's happening? We're fighting somebody? Oh, what happened? Why did we do that? Why did we do what? Still fast. There are two of them. I'm in the water. But I mean, that guy doesn't have anything for sure. Oh no, you sailed past Tiger. Brig. It's a galleon. No, no, it's a brig. Yeah, but they spawned at galleons. Or maybe they didn't oh. spawn. Did but they go back to the other guys. No, 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 no. They they just left the outpost. They have nothing for sure. They're falling. Are they really? I'm jumping off. All right. Sorry. That would have seen the shinies up the front. <laughs> Maybe. Uh -huh. they got, oh, they got loot. Go get them. Yeah, that was the idea. Well, they have one sail down and one up, so they didn't spawn like that, or they're just super incompetent. They're parked really neatly at the dock. Maybe I should keep sailing them after you guys? Sure, why not? Okay. Is that right, Mr. Uh, Dela? Control of their ship now. They were st still heading the same direction that they wanted to go, but. <laughs> a little bit of a different twist. One of these days I'm gonna fucking get that ladder grab. Trying that again. Yeah, I keep getting so close. There's someone on uh, the deck. I'm about to be on their ladder. Dead. We 
what were they saying? We have no loot. They're mad that we sunk him without loot. Wealth rated about the lowly so mean. Yeah, they got. Well, I, I one of these guys quit <laughs> already. I mean, like, actually, he quit after the first time I killed them. Never came back. Appreciate you shooting at my my ship. Thank you very much. These guys are way laggy. Super laggy. Yo, this guy. Okay, so I was like steering the ship to not hit you guys, and this guy apparently respawned right behind me while I was doing that. I got off the wheel, turned around 180, saw him pointing at me, and had enough time to jump out of the way before he pulled the trigger. Nice. Like, I don't know why he didn't just fucking shoot me. Had to line that shot up, man. Can't <laughs> miss. Alright, I'm gonna go sell these skulls. Maybe I'll try... Maybe I'll try to play Battlefield with some people on it. <laughs> did you buy it, did you? I've had that game for a long time. Oh, you're talking about Bad Company 2. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get it for three dollars. Do it, it's worth it, dude. That is an amazing game, I love that fucking game. I quite enjoyed it back in the day. Oh, he finally skilled. I mean, I mean, it's relatively dead. There's only like two servers that are really worth playing on. But it's like 20 years older. Not really, but you know. A... Yeah, that was actually the the first game that me and Bulimix played really extensively together. So we had our bonding moments over that game for sure. Um, he already pre-purchased Battlefield 5, and I'm really seriously considering getting it. Fortunately, that, that would arc him out because of the lag. That's the the one we tried. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, they did a fix for the visibility issue. It seemed like a good game. It seemed like a game I'm gonna suck ass at, but it seemed like a good game. That's fine. The thing is that you don't have to be good independently. You just have to be, like, good in a squad. It's like this game. You know what I mean? Like, every player doesn't have to be the best player, but, like, you just have to be able to work together. Okay, makes sense. You got Battlefield 1? No. No, I haven't bought a Battlefield since 3. I think I think I might have all the Call of Duties, but ew. Battlefield Two. <laughs> Judging. I don't know if I should apologize to you or if you should apologize to me. <laughs> and no server merge. So. Uh. I don't have it in me to sail all night again. I can't do it again. Oh yeah, I don't blame you, dude. 
I didn't have to work tomorrow morning, I'd be down to play a little bit longer, but... Oh, good. Well, we got some loot, you know. See you, Mr. Ordellis. Later, man. Have a good one, guys. Night, man. I just can't. I don't know. My, uh, I don't want to sail around the line on empty servers again, hoping for one big call.